pressing play, you should hear the sound effect. Now that goes on far too long, so I'm going to right trim it. The sphere hits the ground at frame 20. Add sound and the explode sound effect. I could snap this to frame 20, but it's as quick just to drag it down to there. Rewind and play. The explosion sound effect matches the animation pretty well, so I don't need to trim it or fade it. In a subsequent tutorial, I'll show you how to fade a sound file. I'm now ready to render the animation and the sound to make a video file. I'm going to change the layout back to the default layout. I'm going to set up the camera. I'm going to change the orientation of the 3D manipulator widget to local. Now the green arrow is the Y direction local to the camera and that will move the camera up and down. The red arrow is the X direction and that will move the camera left and right. The blue arrow is the Z direction and that will move the camera forwards and backwards. Remembering that, I'm going to change the view to the camera view. I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel, but that doesn't alter what the camera sees. If I press G to grab, followed by Z and Z again, I'm moving the camera in the Z direction forwards and backwards so we can zoom in without altering the focal length of the camera lens. I want the sphere just outside the shot. Set the sync mode to AV sync. That will synchronize the sound to the animation, dropping frames if necessary. Click the render button, scroll down and click the file icon and choose the folder where you want to save your video file. You can also give a root name to the video file. Now we have to change the file format to a movie file format. I'm going to choose MPEG. When you do that you get an encoding panel. Open that up, scroll down, Choose a video codec, I'm going to choose XVID, and an audio codec, I'm going to choose MP3. Both give good compression and reasonable quality. Scrolling up, I'm going to set the resolution for the video. I'm going to set it to be 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall, and I'm only going to render quarter frame size to begin with because it's much quicker and when I'm happy with the video I'll render it full frame size. Click the animation button to render and you'll see Blender rendering each frame. Go to the folder where your video file is, run the video file. If you're happy with the video file, set the render size to full frame and render again. I'm going to go back to 3D view. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the sound effect files for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.